Hello, hello, beautiful people. Uh, we're back with a new lesson. I forgot to say hi on the last lesson, so I'm going to say it twice here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to jump into the new uh, operator here. And again, I just want to say thank you for all the amazing support for the patrons that are sponsoring this series of lessons for you guys. So let's say thank you for all of them that are amazing. And we are ready to see, give the direction and the bend. Let's jump into the lift. So the lift is, again, a pretty simple operator. Um, I'm going to try to make one video for each so it doesn't get tricky. So let's add basic bend, uh, the blend, not in fancy. We have a lift value that we have zero and one. One being a complete full value uh, I don't know if you guys heard the little bells that sounded. That's Joey, our little dog. And he always tried to go to drink some water when we were recording the tutorials. So we made the amazing model of Joey. And this is a thank you patrons. You will get the model if you're a patron. It doesn't matter uh, what level of patron you are, you will get the free model. So it's a full doggy model of Joey, uh, free to use. So feel free to draw by. You just need to be a patron. Doesn't matter what level you are. Yay, good time, Joey. So the lift, we have the lift value zero. It's going to attach fully to the surface. As you can see, a value of one is going to be completely straight guides. And you can also add a follow contour, yes or no. And this depends on the BDB again. So that's where BDB resolution gets into important level. And if you turn this a little bit lower and add a randomize, you can also have mean lift and max lift. So you can have some nice results here. So I'm going to mix both things that I said last time. And I will delete this clean operators and I'm going to create first the direction. That's a fancy clean direction, nothing else. So no lift there because I don't want to have any change there. And I'm going to create a second one. Remember that I told you that it could be possible to create two. And this one that I'm going to have here is going to be a lift. So that's not the one that I want to be a lift because the set direction is going to overwrite. So the second input, the one that we have here, it's the one that is going to be the lift. So set lift, we're going to randomize and add a little bit of lift value. So lift to one and job it in. So you can see now, that we have this nice effect that is a slightly spiky and some of them stay. This is going to give you the effect that I told you last time. That is a really nice uh, breakdown there. It's normally not used on guides. So I don't recommend it to use it that much on guides, but it's lovely and it's amazing when you use something like this on uh, the clumps itself or even the hair. And you will see why I'm saying this on the guide process note when I I'm not even close to start working with hair yet, but just guides, because it's quite similar. So this was the lift operator and a little bit of how to stack the operators together. So remember that the order, it's also important. As you can see, the effect is quite different if you don't have it on a stack. So thank you for following the tutorial and see you in the next one.